Hi guys, this is Mike at tabletby.com and we're going to quickly compare today the Apple iPad 2 and the Asus ePad Transformer. Uh, first, this is the iPad we have here on the left part and on the right this is the ePad Transformer. Let's take a quick look at the exterior. ePad Transformer, like you know, comes with this rubbery finish on the, ba on the bottom and actually looks quite okay. Big uh, 10.1 display on top. Well, this one comes with an aluminum finish and 9.7 inch display. This one is a 16 by 9 uh, display, and this one is a 4 by 3. So this one is uh, this one is wider, and this one is uh, more like a rectangular shape. Opening them going to notice that one runs Android and one runs of course iOS so these are the displays uh, both of these devices come with uh, IPS uh, panels and going to notice here that both offer very good viewing angles and both are very glossy of course but viewing angles are very good on both of these so this is something to appreci appreciate uh, let's also try and have a quick look at size difference. Here we go. The iPad is a little bit wider, but it's definitely way shorter than, than the, the Asus Transformer. So, like this. And in terms of size, there's actually hard to compare the two. Not sure how to put them. Be like this and you can see that the the iPad is way thinner it's actually 50% thinner than this one in terms of weight this one weighs 1.33 pounds and this one weighs 1.49 so I can't say that the iPad is a lot uh, a lot uh, actually the, the transformer is a lot heavier than the iPad I can't really say that but let's take a quick look in at the performances of this device. Okay, let's put one on top of the other, like this. I have a quick look. When uh, surfing between panels, uh, the iPad transformer can be a little bit laggy. However, this one is way faster, but I haven't installed that many apps, just received my iPad. Uh, recently, I haven't inst installed many apps. However, it does feel uh, everything does feel a little bit uh, more uh, more fluent. You can see moving an icon on the iPad is fast, while moving an iPad an icon on this one is not uh, as uh, as fast, uh, and not as fluent. You can now in iPad in edit mode. Cancel. Okay. Uh, then let's uh, also try and quick uh, quick surf between menus. I'm going to see which one is faster, and you can see that the iPad is actually faster than than that one. But I, th I doubt that could be a problem during everyday use. However, let's try and open a browser, both of them, and let's uh, open the same post which is from netbooklive.net which is our netbook blog and you can see that on this one scrolling is not as fast as, as on this one you can see how fast this one scrolls open the post this post here you can see how fast you can zoom in zoom out stuff is very very nice works very fast well on this one for instance right now it's not taking my command so now it is but scrolling is not as fast you can easily try and compare them so definitely f uh, experience is better on, on the iPad and uh, okay so here we are and now let's try and play this particular YouTube clip you probably know that uh, iPad doesn't support flash, however, it can play YouTube clips. It supports YouTube clips, can play them. And here we go.
This is a YouTube clip on the iPad. You can easily scroll, scroll. So works very nice. And then you can go full screen. Just have to press like this. You don't have to press any particular button. Of course, since it's not so a wide uh, display, this means you're going to have these margins on top and on the bottom. But I'm, not, I'm not sure this is really a big problem, as long as it's, uh, it's working very, very well. However, on this one, let's, quick, let's press play and see how is this one performing. In order to, to make it full screen, you have to... You can... Uh, so you saw it wasn't, it's not really working like this. I just have to pinch and zoom on the iPad and it's not the same on this one. You just have to press this particular icon. But, you see there are a bunch of artifacts, so things are not really running as, as they should on this one. Let's just give it a little bit more time to load and see what's going to happen. Let's see, scrolling, scrolling as well is not this fast. This one uses a known, its own uh, uh, interface. It, well, this one uses the standard uh, YouTube interface, which might be a little bit harder to access on uh, on uh, touch uh, displays. However, both managed to run this clip pretty okay. Still, I believe it's it's faster on, on the iPad than on the transformer. Okay, let's go back and once again try and scroll, try and see how fast this one loads. They should actually both load. Let's try and press on this same time. So they actually loaded it quite fast. Of course, it's it's nice that uh, on this one you have better resolution and you can you can have fonts a little bit bigger and easier to read. But this one actually performs a lot better. You can just zoom like this. Very easy. Well, on this one, this one allows pinch to zoom in all the other multi gestures as well. It's just not as as fast as as you would have expected. Uh, I can't really compare it right now uh, and show you uh, show you uh, how these perform uh, while playing while trying to play. Uh, movies because I don't have any content on this one on the iPad right now but I'll try and, uh, and up update this in a later clip what I also like uh, there are some aspects I like on, on uh, of course on the Android is that um, you get this navigation pad and you don't have to uh, use the button to, to go back and this is something I don't particularly like on, on the iPad I'm not really used to but I believe in time, I, I think I'm going to be okay. And of course, you have on on the on Honeycomb, you have the option to customize your your screen to add uh, to add all these widgets and stuff like this. However, on the iPad, you don't really have any any of such options. But I believe in the future, with a future with a, a software upgrade, uh, they would probably add uh, such uh, customizations options as well. Also, I could show you a couple of more things, for instance, email. This is the Gmail app on the Android, on Android, and this is Gmail app on um, iPad. I can't say which one is better because, as you can see, they're both pretty much the same. However, the fact that this one uh, comes with a wider resolution allows you more space for actually, for the opened message, as you can see. But it's quite decent on the iPad as well and we have here oh, so we just received a mail this is this are this is a Gmail uh, uh, account uh, link to, to this iPad you can see you have here all, all the nested comments this is these are a couple of mails and these are the nested comments inside this particular mail with four different messages it says you here have another mail and it has six uh, six nested elements so very nice uh, on this one. Of course, on both you can easily reply to mails and, for instance, write new email. Markers are red. Markers red. Not sure how. Okay. So write a new email. Keyboard. Uh, as you know, this is the Asus keyboard. This is the standard Android keyboard. Pretty much the same. Pretty much the same uh, layout. 
I'm not sure which one is better. I believe on the iPad you could easily reach uh, the keys in the middle. Well, because this one is wider, you can't really, you know, when typing, you can't really easily type with, with your fingers like this. But of course, you can always turn it like this and have more space for, for the actual message on top. While on the iPad, it's not that much, but still, it's very, very nice on both of them. Also, let's try and show you. Oh, there's one more, more thing I wanted to show you. And this is how fast uh, this, uh, how fast accelerometer works on both of these. So we're right, right now on Ported. And you saw that the iPad was faster. And the iPad was faster again. And the iPad was faster again. So you got the point. Not really working because I didn't turn it correctly. You really got the point here. And some other, op of course, you have uh, similar uh, options for uh, and applications for both of them. The thing is that uh, Honeycomb really doesn't have that many dedicated apps. Uh, uh, for uh, for for tablets right now for for this particular OS or for uh, Android with a big screen, well on iPad you have very very uh, a very a vast number of applications to choose from and games and all kind of stuff. Of course, most of them uh, for most of them you have to pay, but still it's good to have the option to to get them in case you need them. Okay, so I believe this is pretty much all with this quick quick comparison of the iPad and the Asus iPad Transformer. I'm going to try and give this, uh, this, uh, these two devices a more proper look and get back with another clip uh, sometimes in the new, near future with more details about camera and uh, video performances and battery life and stuff like this. Okay, thank you. That was Mike at uh, tabletby.com. Thank you for watching.